Tales from the Hood. Fictional stories designed to provoke conversation around themes that are pervasive in the black community. Decent day in the hood. It's rather calm. I'm chilling on the front porch. Looking around, waiting for something to pop off. Trying to find something to get into. Stand up. Jumped off the porch. Got a couple dollars in the pocket. I'll hit the corner store, see if I can grab a bag of chips. See if I can connect with some homies along the way. See what they're getting into so I can entertain myself later today. I ran into the homie man, man. He started walking with me. Hey, man, what you about to do? Oh, man, I can't call it. It's too early to tell. I'm trying to find something to get into myself. Why, what you got in mind? Oh, man, nothing much. My mom is having me watch my sister. That's what Man Man said. Like, oh, you babysitting, huh? Yeah, I guess, but we about to be outside. Oh, yeah, y'all about to be outside, huh? We walking, hearing some music, playing in the distance as we get closer to the corner store. That's where some of the folks hang out. Park at the corner store, pop their trunk. We got 12s everywhere, 16s everywhere, subwoofers on both sides. Cars just vibrating. Boom, boom. I don't know what it is they listen to. The bass is turned up so much to where the vocals are drowned out. We don't care, it's a vibe. It's always a vibe. What that 808 look like? What that 808 sound like? All right, I hear it. I know what song that is. Got closer. Saw my man Trey. It's his car. Man, I knew it was you. Had to be you. He get out smiling, dap me up. Hey, what's up, fool? What y'all doing? None, man. I'm about to go into the store, grab me a bag of chips or something. Trying to figure out what I'm about to get into later on. All right. Grab a few things from the corner store. Popped out. Chopped it up a little bit longer. Man, man, still with me. He ain't buy nothing. He ain't had no plans to get anything from the corner store. I started walking back to the crib, back to the porch, thinking maybe I'll go in, play the game a little bit, see if I can get my player rating up on 2K. That's what I'm thinking. So we walking back, man, man said, all right, I'll catch you later, run across the street. Got back to the front porch, opened the door, started on my chips. Plop down on the couch, click the remote, watch TV for a little bit before I spark up the game. All right, boom, I'm ready. Turn the game on, I'm chilling. Starting to get dark out. Play a few games on 2K. It ain't nothing, I'm nice with it. So I'm running the court. I log off. Open the door outside again, sit back on the porch. I ain't getting into nothing. Next thing you know, I see Man Man across the street. He in his spot. He's supposed to be babysitting. I know good and well his mom don't know he got them things on him. Somebody know. So he out there serving the fiends. He got a system, so he motioned him to the left or right, keeping his head on a swivel, looking for any kind of lights, any kind of suspicious activity. We don't like nobody riding slow in the hood. We don't like nobody riding with their lights turned off. We catching all that. But we ain't see this one. It came from a different direction. Not from the main strip. And it came fast. Skirt! You hear the tires screeching as the car accelerated. Ah! You hear another screech as the car pushed the brakes before guys hopped out. Rushing them. I run across the street. They're not about to get my homie like that. Ha! <sighs> go, go, go! Search through his pockets. Pull his shoes off. And I'm thinking as I'm running fast as I can to get the man, man. They about to get him. Finally get there. The car pulled off. <clears throat> they swerving on each turn. They were masked up, all black ski masks, 
I didn't see no guns. It was just four to one. Man, man's lookout in the back, they ran. As soon as they saw the car pull up, man, they ain't loyal. So I get there, man, man's on the ground. Hey, man, man, get up. He's face down. Grab his arm, grab his shoulder, roll him over, drenched. All red under his chin from ear to ear. Oh, they got the homie. So I run up to his apartment, bang on the door. His sister's there. Yo, man, man's down. Call somebody. Sister's about 12. She called 911. No, I'm about to take him myself. But I didn't want to leave him. Started to run back home. But then I looked back. I stopped. He's laying there motionless. After about 10 minutes, police. Ambulance pulled up. At that point in time, I'm nowhere to be found. They're not about to get me. I'm back in the house, looking outside, holding the drapes to the side so I can see ever so slightly so they don't see me looking in the window. It's just his little sis out there. Sirens go off. Pulled off. Everyday life can change in an instance. These are Tales from the Hood. Thank you.